Amy Mahali with Be Well Clinic and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the heart sound recorder that we have here in the office. This is a non-invasive look at the nutritional status of the tissues in your body. This is a very unique test. If your heart isn't fed properly with the proper nutrition, then it beats abnormally. And we have graphs and charts that I have learned that teach us how the heart is beating that shows us what may, what may be going on in your body. So when we look at your heart, non-invasive test, there is a microphone that's very sensitive placed on four areas of your chest. We take a reading and then I look at that graph to see what your heart is telling me about the nutrition in your whole body. So this is an awesome test, very easy to do, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. The first thing that you're going to do when you come sit down is I'm going to take your oxygen, your heart rate, and take a blood pressure. So we have Paul here today and he is going to be demonstrating how we do this. So you can put your finger in there. Now, now I'm going to record his blood pressure and heart rate in my graph. Next I'm going to just place the microphone on the first point. This needs to be snug on you but you can breathe normally. All right, if you can scoot back in the chair as far as you can go and then lean back, that helps you to be still. As you can see, this microphone is highly sensitive and it picks up. It's the same equipment that they use for seismographs for measuring earthquakes. It's a very sensitive microphone. I'm going to adjust this to put it in the frame properly. This is the microphone. My goal is to get the best reading possible for that heart valve. And then when I have it, I'm going to record for 15 seconds. So go ahead and breathe normally and stay still. Perfect. Now I'm going to move to the second position. This is your tricuspid valve. It's located here, right underneath your sternum. I'm going to tighten up just a little bit. And we move to the second valve recording. Okay, um, next we're going to do the two valves that are up over top both of your shoulders. I'm going to release this and bring it around. This one's for your aortic valve. Alright, and then we move to the final position, which is your pulmonic valve. Great. Lean forward, and we are done. So, that completes the heart graph, or the heart sound recording. I'm going to now read this with Paul and show him what his heart is showing. Depending on what type of appointment we make, I also may um, take a moment to have him chew some of the nutrition I see is lacking on his graph. And then we can redo the graph in 15 to 20 minutes to see if we start getting a change in the direction that we want um, to see if that nutrition did improve the heart. This is an awesome feature and the body works and responds so quickly that we often can see this if we have a little more time. So that is it. If there's any questions, let us know. We hope to see you in here for your next Heart Sound Recording Graph.